What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Taurus here and I want to talk to you today about sunscreen and many of the weird comments and looks that I get whenever I bring it up or say I'm about to apply some. But before we get started, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and join the gang. If you already have, I would like to say thank you. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. But without any further ado, because honey, y'all done gave me the confidence to let it be known. You can speak your mind, and we're going to hold on to it. We're going to stick by you, honey, because you're speaking your honest truth. And I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm a little nervous, but we're going to still put it out there because at the end of the day, my truth is just that. And the love is still genuine and real. I love her. But we're going to talk about some things that didn't work for me. First off, the sunscreen. In my previous video, which I'll leave linked right here above, I talked about how although I still love and want to support Patrick Starr, I'm going to have to put my support on hold because he's recently been doing some things that I do not agree with, but I still follow him, I still have all of my products, and I still wish the best for him. But even with real life family and friends, if you do something that I don't agree with, no amount of love means I have to endorse or support that. I should be able to let it be known that I wish better for you and I want you to do better. And until then, I may have to distance myself. And so in that video, that was supposed to be what we were talking about. The problem is the whole time while y'all was listening to that, I was focusing on this huge thing right here. I am someone who has chronic acne. I've dealt with acne since I was a teenager. And like most people, I genuinely thought this was a teenage phase. By the time I hit adulthood, this is going to be a long memory. Since I've already come to the acceptance and the realization that I could potentially grow into my 80s or 90s and still have acne issues. And although at one point in time, it truly seemed like an issue for me. It wasn't until I had an allergic reaction one day, it wasn't recently, it was years ago, and literally the whole side of my face went dry to the point where the skin was flaking and peeling to no control. It itched, it burned, and nothing I did seemed to relieve it until after it healed. And it was in that moment that I realized sometimes you just have to appreciate the things you have. Although I don't like the fact that I have acne, I appreciate the fact that I have oily skin and it tends to hold on to moisture a little bit better and everything comes with a pro and a con. No matter what you like about your features, there's always going to be something that people feel as if they would like to change or have different. And for me, the one thing I've always hated about acne was never the fact that pimples came, it was the fact that they left acne scars behind when they left if you bother them or if, let's say, the pimple got large enough. Right now, when I look at my face, I see the darkest acne scar I have here on the tip of my nose, as well as the largest one I have here, which is much lighter than my complexion. That was last week. As of about two to three days ago, this big boy came in here and scared the living crap out of me because I think about a year ago, I grew a cyst right here worst acne experience of my life and I was so afraid that that would happen again. Right now I'm about 80% confident that it was just a pimple and it's going to go down. It's only been about two days since I've shown you all. It's gone down significantly now and in the middle of the fear of what could be possibly going wrong with my skin, I immediately aborted ship and threw my fancy skincare products to the side and went back to my tried and true. I wanted to do that to make sure I knew for sure what was going on with my skin and I had the best products that I felt comfortable with using because they worked in the past and I've never had to deal with an acne breakout this serious while using Fenty Skin. And the whole thing about sunscreen came up is because I find that my acne scars heal a lot faster and dull a lot faster whenever I'm wearing sunscreen. So while at work yesterday, that Patrick Star video came on, I watched it, my signal dropped while I was at work so I couldn't interact with you all. 
But afterwards, I wanted to step outside on lunch break. So I told someone, you know, give me a moment. I'll be out there in a minute. I want to go ahead, grab my sunscreen and go put it on. Immediately, I got about four or five people, you know, one person giggled, one person was looking crazy, one person, you know, was like, what do you need sunscreen for? You're black. And I'm like, squeeze me? I didn't know sun protection, you know, had a race on it, honey. I mean, you don't wear sunscreen? And everyone at the table said no. And I'm like, well, you know, I can understand why some people choose not to have it on them at all times, but I'm like, okay, have you ever bought sunscreen? Everyone at the table said no. I'm like, okay, you've never been sunburned, you've never worried about photo aging. And the funny thing is, most of them said, yes, I have had sunburn, but it's only happened one or twice, so I never cared or worried about it. And I'm like, ooh. I don't know about you, sis, but I've been sunburned before. And I'm telling you, she ain't nothing to play with. I think the worst sunburn I ever got was when Rihanna and Eminem went on tour. They did two shows in Detroit of a six show tour. And I literally camped out the first day for my tickets on the second day. And I was literally front and center when I got there. I held on to the gate right there. That was the day I met her makeup artist Lorelai. Um, Lorelai now owns Melt Cosmetics. And it was just one of the happiest days of my life during that time until I got back home and saw what my face looked like. And so I do not go outside without sunscreen, especially if I know it's gonna be an extended period of time. If I'm just running to take out the trash, I may hurry up and run and fling it and race back in. But if I know, oh, I need to go to the store or I'm headed to work or anything like that, there's no other option. I have to put it on. And many people always seem to give me weird looks and things when they realize I'm a person of color and I like sunscreen. But what many people don't realize is the sun produces UVA and UVB rays. And what helped me to get into it is understanding that a general you know, understanding of it is UVA rays cause aging and UVB rays causes burning. I'm someone who's looking for protection from both because I have extremely bad acne. And right now I am on a prescription cream called Tretinoin Gel. This is also known as Retin-A. And this is something that one helps with my acne, but also makes my skin a little more sensitive to the sun. And with that being said, I need to wear my sunscreen in order to keep this going and not cause any further damage. There's no point of going in and treating the acne and then helping cause my skin issues such as hyperpigmentation because I tan easier now or causing things like aging because I'll burn and things like that easier and I'm more susceptible to the sun. So for me, just knowing that it's necessary for my tretinoin, I'm gonna be wearing it. But if for any reason I decided to give up my tretinoin gel, I would still wear my sunscreen to help reduce my chances of photo aging and uh, damage from the sun. But I'm trying my hardest to say this as honestly as possible, but also as nice as possible. Fenty skin didn't work for me, honey. And although I would recommend it to anyone who has normal to combo skin, I know Rihanna and 50 Skin told everybody this stuff is for all skin types. And I love it. I love Rihanna. I love Rihanna. But in my open and honest opinion, if like me, you have chronic acne, which is on this side of the fence, or if you have chronic dry skin, a condition like eczema or anything, which is on this side of the fence, I don't see 50 skin for you. I think it works for those people who are in the middle, those who have normal skin and they can lean normal to dry or it can lean normal to acne or a combo. I think those are the people who have the most to gain from this skincare kit. But those of us who have specific conditions and need specific ingredients to help our skin, 
This will not work for you, in my opinion. And I'm going to tell you why. They have a four piece, right now, right now I believe Fenty Skin has five different items. I only have four and I showed you those four. And with these four, two of them I plan on repurchasing, two of them I don't. So let's go ahead and get into it. First off from Fenty Skin, we have the Total Cleanser Remove It All Cleanser. This one here came in a three piece kit, which is why this is the miniature size of the bottle. And the first pro is the bottle itself. It has a twist off cap, so once you twist it here, you can just squeeze your product up and it twists back down. So it automatically eliminates the chance of losing or dropping the cap, which is something I tend to do. I may not lose a cap, but it's nothing to drop one when you got slippery wet fingers. I really, really enjoy this cleanser. The one con that I can say about it, and honestly about every single product in this range, is that it has uh, fragrance. Although, if you've ever met Rihanna, I promise you, she's probably the best smelling woman I've ever met in my life. Like, oh, that woman smells so heavenly, it's ridiculous. These products smell amazing. But if, like many people, you may have a sensitivity to certain, if not all, fragrances, and although my skin can tolerate fragrance, it has its limits. And before I tested Fenty Skin, that was one of my rules is skincare cannot have fragrance because it's unnecessary. I understand Rihanna has it in hers, but I'm here to let you know. It actually stands a stronger chance of being harmful than helpful. And that's because fragrance increases your chance of sensitivity. Can it be used on many people? Yes. On myself, I genuinely do not believe I had any issues with it. The problem that I have is with there being fragrance in every single step of this routine, it makes it much more difficult to figure out if for any reason I am gaining a sensitivity, is it to this particular ingredient and product or is it that one? In my current routine, I only have one item, just one item that has fragrance and it's not even necessarily the item I try to use every day. At one point in time it was, but it's now my backup item and that's my toner. But other than toner, every single other item in my makeup routine does not have it. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, the only reason the toner has it is because my coin don't stretch as far as I need it to. The toner I prefer is fragrance free, but whenever my coin come up short, toner is the item I run through the fastest, so it's the item I figure, okay, we're gonna have to go a little cheaper this week and get that one with that fragrance. With Fenty Skin, unfortunately, she don't give us an option. And with this having fragrance, it smells nice, it goes on nice, it removes the makeup, it cleanses the skin. But I find myself enjoying this fragrance so much that it takes twice as long to do my skincare routine. If I were to use just a plain unscented soap, I can go in, wash my face, and be on. With this, it instantly just turns things into a spa day because to me, it smells really sweet like flowers and mangoes or a vacation or something. And while I'm sitting there rubbing it in and getting things going, I instantly just close my eyes like, oh, this smells so good. Oh, you should take a trip to Jamaica. Oh, can you afford to go to Jamaica? I don't know, but honey, we can sit back and act like we there. 10 minutes later, I'm still washing my face. But because I enjoy the scent of this product so much and it takes so long to use it, I had to give it up and I put this thing in the shower. I honestly feel as if I'm going to repurchase this during the Sephora Root sale, just simply because I'll be able to gather the points and get it at a discount. So there's no need for me to go online and purchase this from Fenty Skin at full price. It did not cause any allergic reactions. It always removed the makeup. I know my sister loves and enjoys this. So that isn't a problem. But for me, when I'm doing my skincare routine, I need my products to go on, be quick, be fast, and be out the door. This does not offer me that. This one here. Fat water. This is the toner, and what I'm here to tell y'all, honey, she my favorite product of them all. I ain't got nothing bad to say about this one here. I think out of all four products, I cannot wait for this mark to heal up. I truly wish I could have used this right now, but because I am genuinely trying to get my skin back to 100% before I do anything else, I'm holding this off. But I'm telling you, I like the bottle, I like the smell, 
I like the texture, I like the feel, I like the price, I like the name. This here is just, I can just sit here and open this bad boy up and just go. And it's just light, it's fresh. And when they said fat water, I just instantly went like, okay, what kind of texture? Is this going to be a gel? It's going to be thin? Like what it's going to be like? And it is just the perfect mixture in between. I believe they call this a serum toner, pore refining toner serum. And it, I agree with all of that. It helps hydrate. It helps provide a luminous glow to the skin. It's just absolutely amazing. And I don't see why more people are not talking about it. For me, the cleanser, she nice and the fragrance nice, but she is soap. But it's like, okay, honey, how beautiful can a soap be? You're going to remove the dirt and then we're going to keep it moving. With this bad boy, people might be getting these for Christmas gifts because I like it just that much. This is a beautiful product. As soon as this uh, mark heals up, I'm going back to adding this to my routine. I cannot wait, Tiny. She's beautiful. And if nothing else, I promise you, I'm someone who really likes lotion, especially hand creams. And throughout the day, I may want to go ahead and add a little more hydration to my skin, but not necessarily want to put a whole layer of lotion on. This is one of those products I don't mind just taking, scooping some in, pouring some in the hand, just rubbing get those knuckles, get those cuticles, and keep it moving, honey. I like it on the face, I like it on the body. This bad boy here will be repurchased, so if anything, out of all four products, this is the one I recommend you all go get. The last two is the moisturizers, and I'm here to let you know, honey. Although I will repurchase the first two, these last two, no ma'am, no ma'am. We have here the Hydrovisor. This is the Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. She cute and all, but let me tell you. First thing first, I appreciate the fact that we get an expiration date on the bottom of the bottle. Many times people don't realize that skincare ingredients and makeup as a whole usually does have a shelf life. But when it comes to things like skincare, I genuinely wish that any and every and all skincare brands put an actual expiration date on the bottles instead of something like 12 months or things like that. When it comes to products I genuinely want to put on and inside my body, I need to know exactly how long they are good for. So that is the absolute first pro on this. The second pro is we have an SPF 30. It's absolutely fabulous. But most people. Me, myself, I love my sunscreen. I'm actually wearing sunscreen right now. The problem is I cannot wear sunscreen on the actual eyelids from about 99% of the brands I've tried. And when you actually read the sunscreen bottles, they tell you to put them everywhere except the orbital bone around the eye. And with all moisturizers, I'm putting them over the entire face. I'm putting them on the entire eye area as well as my lip area because my lips are dry and they have skin there too, honey. I want some moisture on everything. This bad boy is beautiful when you first put it on. The one thing I noticed is with my normal sunscreen, it has a slight white hue to it. This one here comes off with a slight purple hue when you first put it on, but I promise you it does go away. When I first poured it in my hand, I'm like, hold on, purple? Whose warm skin is you putting purple on, honey? Not mine. But I told Rihanna I was going to try it, so we put it on. We got it going. It does not leave a white cast. The smell is amazing. The problem is, as someone who enjoys, well, I ain't going to say who enjoys working out. As someone who does work out, I cannot do it with SPF on my face. Even my normal sunscreen, if it's up here on the forehead and I start sweating, it's going to drip down, and once it gets into my eyes, Workout is over, honey. My eyes are burning. I'm in pain. I got to go wash my face. And so I found that if I were to go to the gym or work out, I normally have to take my sunscreen off in order to get my workout going. And then before I leave, I can apply it again. Even if I were to take my normal sunscreen and put some on the actual eyelid, it's going to burn when I do that. And it's going to burn even more if for any reason I'm sweating. And I found that out about the Fenty one because I was running late for work and I parked on one end of the parking lot 
and had to race to the door in order to make it on time. And all it took was those about 30 to 40 seconds of sweating for me to realize I can't use this no more. She's beautiful all over the face. She does provide some moisture. I personally would like a little more, but I can use this as a sunscreen. I can't use this as a moisturizer because even on those days where I said, okay, Torrance, you know this has the sunscreen in it. Why don't you just make sure you take it off? I always forget and I always put it on my eyes because in my head I'm going, this is a moisturizer. I'm gonna treat it as a moisturizer. I don't think twice about it. When I'm doing any other moisturizer, I'm putting it everywhere and I always forget that I can't put this everywhere and I always do. And so it's like, Torrance, you either have to change this product or you have to change your steps and your routine. And unfortunately, honey, the routine works. This doesn't, or at least not for me. For my best friend, it works. For my sister, it works. For my coworker. But because I can't wear sunscreen on the eyelids, she doesn't fit in my routine and I'm not gonna force her to. Sorry. Last up, Fenty Skin has an instant reset overnight recovery gel cream. This is the nighttime moisturizer. It comes in a jar packaging. This particular moisturizer does not contain a sunscreen like this one, which is why I prefer this one 10 times more than I prefer this one, just for my skincare. First off, let's get into the bougie packaging, honey. The fact that you can flip this part up, it has a small mirror in the back, and it has a small little spatula here for you to gather the product. So this is what I use on those days where I'm feeling extra bougie. You just take it, flip this tab up, and you can twist this around to reveal the product inside. Tell me how fancy am I feeling. And because Rihanna has things that contain refillable packaging, so you don't have to buy the entire compact all over again, you only have to buy the refill, which contains the moisturizer in here. This part pops out by just pressing this on the bottom. And so for me, this is that moisturizer I like to use when I'm really feeling myself. When I'm just sitting on the phone at the end of the night talking to my sister or anything and I just pull this out and give me, yeah, girl, uh-huh. Yeah, and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I get on a Zoom call and get over there like, yeah, I'm about to go grab me a couple cucumber slices and lay back, honey. I ain't about to put no cucumber slices on my eyes, but this makes me feel so bougie and so fancy. And that's one of the main reasons why I like it. The biggest reason why I'm not repurchasing her, one, it's because of those extra steps. I am someone who likes my moisturizer to come in a pump bottle. I like to be able to just go squirt, 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 keep it moving. I know exactly how much product I'm gonna get because the pump delivers the same amount each time. With this, I have to get me a guesstimate because just dipping your finger in there isn't gonna necessarily get the same amount of product and that may not be the most sanitary way of gathering moisturizer, so you're gonna wanna more than likely use this little spatula. And with this little spatula, it gets the job done. You could just go ahead and press one side here. It lifts it up a little bit for you to go ahead and grab it. And then you go ahead, you scoop out some moisturizer, you put it on. The thing is, I got acne and I'm always worried about cleanliness and hygiene when it comes to face products. So after I take this and use it, regardless if I'm putting it on the back of the hand or the face, I now see this as dirty and now she got to be washed. And I don't know why I even leaned in like that. But if I have to wash this little bitty piece every time I do my skincare in order to put this back, that's not adding an extra step just to moisturize and it's like, I didn't have to do that before, sis. No, ma'am. You don't get to come into my life Give me what I've been doing already, but make it a little bit harder. And another reason is she pretty. She nice. She smells amazing. But on 99% of the days, she good. If for any reason, any reason, I decide to skip a day of skincare or on a day when I'm doing my tretinoin, the next morning, honey, I'm dry. This moisturizer keeps me hydrated on the days that I use it consistently. 
I cannot afford to, let's say, get sick or wake up late and have to race out the door and forget to moisturize. It rarely ever happens. But on those days, I forget to moisturize with my normal products. I may not have the most comfortable and best looking skin, but things will still be good when I get home. But with this particular moisturizer, because she does not contain my acne ingredients, not only will I realize I don't quite have the hydrated skin I would have had, my acne fights back like a mother brother. I am telling you, it will come in and it will kick, scream, and holler like an unruly child. And it's like, okay, honey. I like you and you good when you here, but if for any reason I fall off, you just let me go, honey. You just let me slip and fall and bump my whole head. Like, it's hard to bounce back whenever I'm not using these moisturizers. And what I found is, if I can't depend on you when I'm falling short, honey, I can't depend on you. It's just that. With my other moisturizer, it gets the job done, but on any day I'm coming up short, it catches the slack for me. And because this one doesn't, she got to go, honey. She got to go. So, right now, I'm loving the fact that this acne scar has gone down. I mean, this little pimple here, it's been two days and she's doing a lot better. And I promise you all, I'm going to get back into makeup, but... I am someone who just genuinely needs to let my skin heal. I know you all have been asking for my skincare routine and I promise you all I'm going to get it recorded really soon. It should be up in April. To me, April just reminds me of spring, new beginnings, and I once had a kitty who was born on April 1st, so I'm really going to try to get that recorded. Right now, we just genuinely switched shifts this week at work, and so things have shifted again and I'm trying to get back into things because remember, I just came back from grieving for a family member and a friend, but I'm trying to get things back on track. I'm trying to be more open and honest and real with my opinions. I've always been open and honest, but I want to feel more comfortable with not necessarily being negative on my channel, but being able to say negative things without feeling bad about it. Because the truth is, although I consider my channel to be a positive and beautiful space, Everything does not always work. There are going to be makeup products I try out that don't work. And like with this, there may be skincare products that I try that do not work. Although I don't see myself testing out skincare products as often as I do makeup, it honestly feels a lot better to be able to look at you all and say, I love Rihanna and I wanted to support Rihanna, which is why I have all these items here. But to be able to say, these work well enough for me that I'm willing to repurchase them, but these two did not. It just, it's freeing to be able to say, I can support Rihanna, I can love her, and I can also be honest because that's the way things should be. I should not have a fear of, okay, Maybe I might not ever get on the PR list. Maybe I might have to deal with online people saying bad things about, oh, you don't know anything about skincare or blah, blah, blah. Because I ain't gonna lie, honey. I defend my baby Rihanna too, honey. I don't like people saying bad things about her. But I understand there's a difference between just not agreeing with someone and speaking down or bad on them. This is not speaking bad on the brand Fitchy Skin because they do have some items that I like. It's just that Products that are geared toward everyone may not necessarily suit everyone. And for me, two of the products are a thumbs up, two of them are a thumbs down. And with the root cell coming up, I will be repurchasing the cleanser and the toner, but neither moisturizer is working for me. And I'm no longer going to put up a front and say I'm going to continue testing them out because, honey, I'm not. These moisturizers are going straight to my sister because she genuinely loves them. She can use them. I personally can use this as a hand cream, but I have hand creams. What's the point of wasting that product and that money when someone else can genuinely love and use these? But these two bad boys, honey, I am telling you, please try it as a shower gel because it's absolutely amazing, honey. Make sure you crank that heat up on the water too, baby, so you can get the whole bathroom smelling amazing. The fat water toner, if you don't get it for nothing else, get it for the name, honey. 
get it for the smell, get it for the feel, get it for the bottle. I cannot wait to repurchase this because as I've stated before, this is my favorite, favorite product from the brand. Like I ain't playing, I will genuinely just take, get me a few drops and just, mm, mm. the way this just glass and absorbs into the skin so quickly, honey, like this is just like the perfect moisturizer when you don't want a sticky residue or anything. As someone who does clerical work, there's nothing like moisturizing your hand and then pressing your keyboard and realizing you done left a trail where somebody can see exactly which keys you've pressed. With this, it's nothing to it. It's literally already absorbed. You don't see a shiny residue, but my skin is nice and hydrated. So my fat water toner, we will be repurchasing. I'm gonna make sure I keep you all updated on my skincare. I'm not sure, but more than likely, I'm gonna try to push out another video before Saturday because this particular video and my previous one didn't have any makeup in it. And I know this is a makeup channel and I wanna get back to it, but as someone who genuinely cares about myself and care about you all, but I want to remind you, makeup is nice. It's not necessary. You need to take care of yourself and your skin first because it will give you the options to play with other different types of makeup. It's because I'm on my skincare that I can wear things like full coverage, fully matte foundations, and not worry about texture because I try to take care of those things. But right now, I needed to be headed to work. Um, this video is being recorded on Tuesday morning, so more than likely it will go up Wednesday morning. I'm gonna try my very best to try to get a video out either Thursday or Friday as well as Saturday because last week I did skip out on one and only give you all two so I'm gonna try to make it up and give you four this week but I hope you all truly did enjoy this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up also leave me a comment down below if you all have ever tried Fenty Skin I know this does work for most people but like I said for me and my acne it just did not get the job done and also let me know about your experience with sunscreen Please let me know if you're a person of color and you also wear sunscreen. If not, let me know exactly why not. I know for many people in my neighborhood, it was just something that you just did not do. It was something most people did not worry about. You either stayed out in the sun all day with no cares or you came in before things could get burned, but nobody was spending money on sunscreen in my neighborhood growing up. But I've been ranting long enough and it's time I need to be heading off to work. So with nothing else, I hope you all remember to practice, continue to stay blessed, and until next time, goodbye YouTube.